Flimsy. Hollow. Fragile. That's what the bears are saying about the stock market today. They claim that the recent climb is just a false dawn, fueled by a handful of giant technology stocks and AI hype. But here's the thing, they're wrong. Narrow breadth is actually a bullish signal, not a bearish one. Let me explain why, breadth refers to the percentage of stocks beating the broader market. And recently, the breadth has been narrow. But that's a good thing. At the end of January, over 60% of S&P 500 stocks outperformed the index over the prior year. But by the end of May, that number dropped to just 34.3%. This rapid decline in breadth is actually a positive sign. In the past, when the percentage of stocks outperforming the market was low, it preceded big bull markets. For example, in 1969, during a bear market, the low percentage of outperformers was followed by a 32-month bull market with 74% gains. And in 2003, just months into a five-year bull market, we saw a similar pattern. But why is the breadth narrow? Well, it's mostly because of the dominance of giant growth stocks, especially in the tech sector. And this reminds me of the mid-late 1990s when breadth was also low. But guess what? That period saw four big, bad breadth bull market years. So, what does this mean for investors? It means that the highest quality, most assured growth stocks are the ones to focus on. These are mostly the biggest of the big, selling at high valuations, and they're getting higher. And this doesn't mean doom for the UK markets. Now, there are some concerns about lockdowns and the impact on the economy. But it's important to remember that bad news is often already priced into the market. And while there may be challenges ahead, it's crucial to consider the long-term potential of the stock market. As Sir John Templeton famously said, bull markets are born on pessimism, grow on skepticism, mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. So, embrace the bad breadth. It's a natural part of the bull market's evolution. And by the time everyone starts seeing it as bearish, much of the gains will already be history. So, don't let fear hold you back. Investing in the stock market can offer great returns, especially when others are being overly cautious. Of course, it's always important to do your research and make informed decisions. But don't miss out on the opportunities that the stock market has to offer. Remember, finance is not just about numbers, it's also about psychology. And sometimes, being optimistic and taking the long view can lead to great results. So, rinse with mouthwash and keep investing. The stock market is the only circus in town, and it's where the opportunities lie. Happy investing!